Hi, Sheriff. Just hello, I am Burb. Hi, Narissa. Name is Archimedes. Hello. Have a seat. Yes, I will do that. Thank you. I am sitting. I... um... Are you okay? Yes. I am just bird. You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... you know, around. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <laughs> okay, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> You didn't see anything. Huffin' Puffs. Not many people smoke those. How many people are gonna comment on that, really? I'm a freaking wolf. That's the whole point of the story. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. Not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No. I guess not. Sometimes, hmm. we have to find our way through life on our own. Grasping and fumbling in the dark. Yeah? I, yeah, I'll say. I used to have friends to help me find my way. But now, they're gone. And I don't know what to do. You don't have the talking lobster anymore? Is this making any sense? Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you talking about Wilbur? Are you? Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm... sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Magic ribbons, yay! Something I can do about it. No, these lips are sealed. What? You okay, can't. man. Just stay back. I could already tell something bad was going to happen. Do that. If I tried to touch Slow that ribbon. Down. It's all right. I'm not going to do anything. Please, don't. Whew. 
I wonder okay. what would happen if I actually did, though. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Sorry, I wish I could do something. If anyone finds out I came here, that's probably snow. Listen, isn't there Sheriff, like a big pane of glass on the window? Can you keep this on the door? Between us? These lips are fucking I sealed, bro. Trouble. What are you worried about? Just please don't say anything. These lips are sealed. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty yeah. and Beast called the office just now. Yeah, they what they want. They wanted to talk to you about something. Is it talking candlesticks? We've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Hey, wait, you don't have to go. Mm. Mm. That was abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... That's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then. Um, Good yeah. work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. Suppose I better go check it out. I'll go. Yeah, you stay here. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. Yeah. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Lisa, I... You don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That mm. would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. It's gonna make faces. Who knows what? For two hours. Make faces. I have other matters to attend to. Like what? Wilbur? We leave Wilbur alone. Leave Wilbur alone. I got an achievement once upon a time. All right. Beauty and Beast's apartment, the Woodland Building, at noon. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. With good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. Open the door. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on here. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets too. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen. Fine. Go off in a huff. I'm, I'm through talking anyway. Excuse me. Knocked on the door like a polite person. Oh, Yo. it's you. What are you doing here? Mofo, you called me. What's this about? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beast? I didn't call you. Listen, I've had a shitty night. Well, you're not the only one. And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. If someone called, it must have been Beast. I certainly didn't. Okay. I... You know, if you had just kept your mouth shut about me, Beast wouldn't have lost his head over at the open arms. I don't know what you're talking about. I wouldn't have even found the place. I don't know what you're talking I about. I wouldn't have had to spend the night defending myself for keeping secrets with Bigby Wolf. I'm just I talking about. I lost my job because of you. I needed that. Who's there? Maybe if you've been Judy? truthful. Who is 
is it? If you don't want to talk, can you just get Beast for me? I don't know. Talking has a way of escalating with you. Look, man, in a relationship, you gotta be honest with you with, with each other. One hundred percent. Give us a minute. A word in private. I think that's and that a goes good both idea. ways. Sir and madam. Mostly, sir. Mm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Look at that picture. Let's not make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? I know what the electric bill is for that thing. We talked about it already. But I I just don't think he's going to improve our situation. Well, that's what we're going to find out. I know you're going to disagree, but if he can't keep a little secret, how can we trust him with this? I trust him. Well, of course you do. Hmm. Whatever. Talk about Not living in the past. Follows him around. That's a nice painting. Up against the wall here, okay? Uh, so can we finish this oh. later? Okay. Now that Bigby's here, let's just... Fine. Go on. You want to touch everything? Sorry. We've had a long night. Yeah. What's that you always say? Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. For your say, face. Your place? It looks, uh, expensive. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Beauty! What? It's a fair question. He's the sheriff, not an interior decorator. Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Oh, well, thanks. But that's not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? That's part of it, but... We can't bring him into this. He's just going to make things worse. He always does. Well, he's here now, so let's see what he can do. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. Just answer me this first. What if we did have some information on the crooked man? If we talk, we're putting ourselves at risk. Not with me. Could you protect us? I've seen what happens when you cross him. Can you- I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. What does that mean? No, we're not! And just tell me what's going on here. You get used to a certain way of doing things, and sometimes it just gets away from you. I just wanted to give Beauty the kind of life she deserves. You understand that, don't you? Maybe. And there's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... What era is this from? What kind of phone is that? Maybe I should... A day at the beach? Skiing a hey, float? we're not done here. <laughs> and we can't should... come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably 
dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. Yeah, I saw that too. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on. That's a terrible Don't idea. Me. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's no. It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. <laughs> well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. Well, what are you delivering? Is What's it crack? Going on there? Probably crap. into the crooked man's operation. I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry fillet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're done. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. You want so me to got your eyes out again? Where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Uh huh. Beef sausage. So, um. It looks like. I'm about out of time for this episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!